We're out here in a little courtyard where my fig trees and other trees have been overwintering. They've been all grouped together to conserve warmth and just stay protected and protect each other. And they're all starting to break bud now that we are in March. So it's a very exciting time and I want to give them a nice little feed. I've mixed up some regular compost. Look at all these little bravas here, these little figs. So I've mixed up some regular compost with a bit of Epsom salt, a little bit of really well ground um, eggshells and also some spent coffee grounds just to give them a real boost. I'll give them a top dressing now with all of that and that will just help them because some of these are actually in quite small pots um, and eventually I'll be moving them on into bigger pots as I find some and as I get around to it but at the moment I'm going to give them a good feed good well-rounded feed and just hope for the best. I think fig trees do grow so well. This one is one of the, the smallest one I've had for the shortest time. And it's supposed to be a, a tiger fig, like a patchy one, a striped one. So I just removed all that mulch. I love using pine cones as mulch. We're always out collecting pine cones in my area. Whenever we're anywhere, I usually have a few pine cones left in my bag from wherever I've gone <laughs> because they're just really lovely, beautiful, decorative and free mulch. They break down really slowly and they're just, I just really like them. So there we go. They're totally natural and totally free. So I've got my little mix here. Oh my goodness in there. And I'm just going to add it to the top. There we go. And I'll just help it as much as it can in there without giving up on the trunk. This one seems to have quite shallow roots. I actually think it must be getting pot bound, so I am going to be repotting it in the next few months. I think I could do it now, but I don't really have a pot to move it on to. I need to start rejigging everything. I usually move one on and then just sort of continue that way so I don't need to get too many new pots all the time. Yeah, there we go. And look, it's, he's already got some beautiful foliage starting to come out. Um, I have actually, we've had some frosty nights very recently, and at that point I did actually just chuck a regular old sheet that I use for painting over it, over this sort of area, and um, that kept the frost off them too, so that was good. So there we go. I'll just do the same thing, and I'm just going to replace all the little pine cones of course because I want to keep that mulch going very often the birds come and empty out my pots because there are probably some little bugs in there in the pine cones that they want to get to but that's not a problem I just replace them and afterwards it's a little game we play me and the birds so now I refresh them all and reapplied the comp the the mulch and hopefully They'll be really happy out here and just continue to thrive. I'm going to give them a little bit of a drink now, just to let them get some of that goodness into them. It'll be really fun to see what this year brings with them and how they do. But hopefully this will help them get a good little start. They're not very thirsty. We've had so much rain for days and days, and we're going to have more days of rain soon, but I hope they really enjoy that. And so far, the weather forecast is not showing any frost, so I'm super happy about that, and long way that last, and we'll just see how it goes. But now I'm going to go inside and show you my little experiment. So we are inside now in a room facing that courtyard and as you can see the space is very limited due to the other plants that are overwintering in here such as my Australian finger lime. There's also my beautiful navel orange here and pinot melons too. Here's one of the last fruits that are ripening at the moment. But I found space to squeeze one of my fig trees in here and this is my favorite one. It's one I took as a cutting from my sister's garden in the south of France. And it's just really been beautiful. It tried to push out some growth last year and 
and grow some figs, but it was too late. And so one of you suggested that he, I think it was Sam, takes his trees inside and just gives them that extra warmth, just a head start really on the season. And so I thought, let's try it with this one tree. And if it works, I might do it for all of them. So this one has been outside with the others until about a week ago. And already you can see it, it's ahead of the others in foliage production. And I can see, I think the beginnings of some little tiny figs here, which of course were just dormant and waiting for this little boost of warmth. So I'm gonna give them a nice big feed now and get them going. All right, so I've filled it up with some really beautiful new compost, my little mix of all the nutritious stuff there. And I'm just going to replace all the mulch, all the pine cone mulch that is. So I replaced all the pine cone mulch and we'll just leave it there and come back to it and just hope for the best. It's going to be a really fun thing to see if it actually does help it and make it produce fruit earlier. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.